Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another new one. Today we're looking at some more retail products. My LCS finally got these in. Upper Deck 2022-2023 Series 1 Hockey Blaster Boxes. Yeah, it took me a while to get these in. I don't know what it is but where I live, but uh, we always seem to get things like way after the release date. So uh, I think release date for the retail stuff was like a couple months ago. Uh, Wal uh, even our Walmarts here took forever to get the uh, like mega boxes they have in. So it was in there today at the LCS and they finally had these in. So picked up a few of them uh, to give a nice little open review here. 30 bucks a piece for each of these uh, definitely cheaper than they will be at Walmart for sure probably find them cheaper online my LCS is never the cheapest but I like supporting local so I have no problem paying what they ask so like I said probably cheaper online I haven't really checked but 30 bucks for these ones seven packs per box and eight cards per pack and these guys kind of as usual I feel like it's a bit of a better value than the Walmart stuff like I said Walmart's had the mega boxes for like a month but at 50 bucks that to me they're a terrible value because you just get, you get like what five packs and a set of rookie cards whatever that no one cares about so um, not a big fan of those those boxes just not a big fan of buying stuff from Walmart anyway even though sometimes you have to because you're half the time the only ones that have some of this retail stuff so is what it is i've opened up a few of the uh hobby boxes i usually will say the hobby boxes are the way to go if you can afford to do a hobby box obviously uh, you're guaranteed you know six young guns whereas this one you're only guaranteed one young gun per box in here because they're one in four so i mean for hundred dollars with tax we're only guaranteed three young guns we might get four but at least with the uh hobby box you're getting six of them for sure right plus all the other hobby exclusives make the hobby box that make a little more sense. You get the surprise cards. Like you get those attacking zone cards in the hobby boxes. Can't get those in here. Um, you get those like Easter egg cards of the glow in the dark stadium cards. Definitely not going to be in here. All the uh, upper deck exclusive cards, the high gloss cards, all that stuff, you know, are only hobby boxes. So if you can afford them, they're definitely the way to go. But for some people, retail is the only option. Yeah, for me, I just like showcasing everything that's available for you guys. So give these a rip. So like I said, the uh, young guns in here are one in four. So there'll be one for sure. You do have the possibility as there's seven packs in here of getting another one's possible. So aside from that, UD Canvas, regulars are 1 in 14. Canvas Young Guns are 1 in 96. Uh, there's also Honor Roll, UD Portraits, uh, UD Portraits Short Prints. It's so like uh, gold UD Portraits, I think. Center of Attention Cards, Debut Dates, Defense Mechanisms, Rookie Retrospectives, Blue Freestyles. The Blue Freestyles are the uh, Blaster Box exclusive. Those are 1 in 240. Like they say on here, look for stunning green Dazzler cards in every box. So you get green Dazzler. So possibly of those which are 1 in 6, which of course makes sense. It'll be 1 in every box. So there you go. So so for 30 bucks, not bad. I think uh, it'll be interesting to see like what 90 bucks compares to like a, a hobby box at my LCS, which is they're a little aggressively priced at 170 bucks. Uh, you can definitely find them obviously cheaper. They're on sale like all week up until like recently at most hobby shops for like 124 99 or something like that. So it'd be interesting to see what a $90 compares to my LCS versus like $90, $100 blaster box versus, you know, an online price of a hobby box. So I think the hobby box will probably win, but you know, it's fun to compare. So I think the only big young gun I still haven't pulled from all my Series 1 openings is Berniers. I haven't pulled a Berniers yet, so hopefully we can get Berniers. Any version of him I'll take. Uh, other than that, obviously, any of the big young guns, they're all still about the same. I think Rossi's fallen off a bit. Uh, Kachetkov, man. I've had at least two Kachetkovs. Uh, they both, I, I will sell my young guns usually unless they're like some really worth keeping. Usually I sell them to fund the next thing I'm opening, right? Um, I'm a hit junkie after all, not so much, not as big of a collector, more of a hit junkie. And I had two of those and they sold for like 15 bucks each and now they're worth like 60 bucks. So we'll take a Kachetkov too. I pulled Owen Powers twice, so we're not due for him, but... All right, so seven packs. Number one. And as always, if you guys like hockey card content or any sports card content really in general, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. Helps me out a lot. Appreciate every single person who does that. You don't have to, and love that you do. Base cards there. If you haven't seen it yet, then uh, I don't know where you've been. But anyway, here you are. So we got Clayton Keller, Connor McDavid, Alex DeBrinkett, Nico Dawes, Oliver Shillington. Somehow Shillington starts with a K. Carter Hart, Troy Terry, and Adam Pellick. So we're starting things off with a base pack. I mean, hey, get it out of the way early, I suppose. That's good. That's one thing about retail. As far as I'm aware, there aren't base packs in the hobby boxes this year. Um, I opened up an absolutely horrendous box of 2020, 2021. 2020, 2021. It's hard to say that. 2020, 2021 extended and uh, two base packs in there. That's an awful product. So I can't remember, though. I have to double check if you can get bases of these hobby boxes anyway. Morgan Riley, Cam Fowler, and Jordan Biddington, Neil Pionk. There's a Young Guns checklist of Boldy and Rossi, Sean Couturier, John Carlson, and Mitch Marner. So nothing too special there. Just a checklist of the of the two good Minnesota players you can get Young Guns of. But those checklists aren't hard to hit or anything. They're nothing special. I think we have an upside down canvas in this one, so we'll see what that is. Jared McCann, Jacob Truba. Linus Olmark and an upside down canvas of the pride of Estevan, Tanner Janot, Philip Deneau, William Carrier, Barrett Hayton, and Warren Fogel. So, three packs in, we finally have an actual insert, not a hit, but at least an insert. Blaster boxes can definitely be rough. Retail in general can be pretty damn rough. Thatcher Demko, Shea Theodore, Anthony Sorelli, 
Artem Zub, uh, Superstar Honor Roll of Shane Gostisbear, Gostisbear the Ghost Bear, Andrei Sveshnikov, Jesper Bratt, and William Nylander. All right, Sean Corrali, Daniel Sprong. What a friggin' pickup he's been for Seattle. Unreal. Matt Grilzik. There's our first Young Guns. This blaster box is Young Guns of Mark McLaughlin. So Mark McLaughlin, bottom six, bottom six kind of guy for Boston. He's a uh, Boston College, I think. He had 11 games last year. Remember reading? So yeah, bottom six potential. Nothing special there. Jamie Drysdale, Ivan Barbashev, Connor Halibayuk, and Chris DeReger. On the board with our Young Gun, at least... All right, so let's start off with the checklist. Barkov and Braden Point, so that is 101 to 200 there. We got Tyler Myers, Ryan Hartman, Michael Matheson, Igor Shosturkin, Oscar Lindblom, another base pack, Kelly Yamamoto, and Cole Caulfield. Oh, base packs are rough. Upper Deck already doing a great job of reminding me why retail sucks. Frederick Anderson, Jack Rosovic, Joel Armia, David Pasternak, and there's our Green Deserts of Rather at Marshawn. Ooh. And Barkley Goudreau. UC Sato and Zach Verensky. Zach Verensky. All right. Blaster box number two. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see if every blaster box has two base packs in it. That's rough if that's the case. Like most inserts are worthless anyway, but at least put one in every pack. It's like it's that difficult. Base packs. Base packs in this day and age just shouldn't exist. I wonder. They do base packs in football products like this Panini. Do base packs. Does Tops do base packs. I don't think I've ever pulled. Like I open baseball stuff occasionally. An occasional pack of football cards. I don't think I've ever hit a base pack in any of those products. Just upper deck being scumbags. All right, Blaster Box 2, pack number one. Mats Zuccarello, Anton Lindell, Alex Kerfoot, Alex Newhook, Defense Mechanism of Tori Krug, St. Louis Blues. You can't get gold parallels of this. This one's just silver. At least in hobby, you can get gold. I don't know about the retail, but Eric Johnson, Alex Killorn, and Yanni Hockenpah. Alex Tuck, JT Comfer, Ryan Reeves, Dylan Larkin, base pack incoming, Jonathan Dahlin, not even in the league anymore, Roman Leonard, Cam Talbot, and Spencer Knight. All right, so base pack central, these boxes. Don't like it. Don't like it. Just the emotional, the emotional toll alone it takes on a guy opening base packs. Yeesh. Where are you out? Morgan Barron, Anton Forsberg, Clayton Pareko, young gun of Hayden Hodgson. Hit Hayden Hodgson before for sure. Playing with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. He's an undrafted guy, formerly of the OHL's Erie Otters. Had decent numbers in 21, 22 with the Phantoms, so you never know. Maybe there's some potential there, but nothing too crazy at all. Anthony Mantha, Pavel Bukhanevich, Shabran Tanev, and Jonas Brodin. All right. Victor Hedman, Tristan Jari, Vitek Vanacek, Andreas Johnson, uh, JT Miller, UD Portraits. Much like his play style, looks like he's not trying in that picture either. Mikhail Sergachev, Akil Makar, and Mason Appleton. Quinn Hughes, what's up? Connor Brown, Ryan Suter. Ah, young guns, two young guns. All right, so double young guns box. It is possible to hit two in each blaster box. There's Ben Myers. So another undrafted University of Minnesota guy. Uh, currently in the NHL, he had five games last year. Probably third liner kind of guy. So again, not a whole lot of upside there, but you never know. Alex Formington, Jordan Cairo, Jeff Skinner, and Jonathan Taves. John Merrill, Kyle Palmieri, Alexander Texier, who also okay, may not be in the league. I haven't heard his name. I think he's one of, maybe he's not. I can't remember. Yes, for fast. Base pack. Alex Lafrenier, Philip Ronick, Brandon Hagel, and Jake Gensel. Big pack. Yay. It's just freaking cruel. Like, just put an insert in the cards. I, it's just, I don't get it. For the millicent it cost to add an extra card in there, just do it. Even if it's not, it doesn't have to be a hit, just a freaking something, you know? Brendan Gallagher, Sonny Milano, Victor Olsen, Nikolai Ehlers, our Dazzlers of Mikhail Granlin, Dazzlers Green, Alex Ovechkin, Nico Heischer, and Niels Hoaglander. Box three. So far, so not so great. Really, literally nothing to get excited about. In fact, less than nothing to get excited about. Very underwhelming. All right, Vasily Podkolzin, Philip Kurashev, Brady Shea, Stuart Skinner, Young Guns of Jack McBain. First Young Guns for the box, or probably the only Young Guns in the box. All right, so Minnesota's 63rd overall pick in 2018, and then the rights were traded to Arizona for a 2022 second round pick. So played 10 games last season, centering the third line with Matias Michelli. So long development, but he's showing some potential. So I believe he is. Yeah, he's he's a mainstay on the team right now, third liner. So some upside, but again, nothing too crazy. He'll be a third liner probably his whole life. And Cole Sillinger, Tony D'Angelo, and Jake Evans. All right, Anthony Stolarz, Tanner Janot, Victor Arvidsson, UD Canvas, uh, Jonathan, no longer a Panther, Huberto, Adam Henrique, Kyle Poso, Kyle Connor, and Josh Bailey. All right, Samuel Gerard, Kirill Valmelka, Ryan Donato, Roman Yossi, Capo Kakinen, Alex Djokovic, base pack, Tanner Pearson, and Jujar Kara. So every single blaster, I think. It's the first base pack from this blaster. One, potentially two. I don't know, probably two. Hopefully this one only had one. As you can tell, it makes me angry at the thought of two base packs for every box. Casey Mittelstadt, 
Trevor Moore, Milan Lucic, Kevin Hayes, Young Guns of Caden Korjak. So two Young Guns. Yeah, I mean, so we overshot our quota on Young Guns. So at least we can say that, even though they haven't been good. Drafted 41st overall, which is the second round. He's a big defenseman. Uh, he played in one game last year, currently in Henderson. Not a very flashy guy, big defensive defenseman. So not off, not much offensive upside, but you know, a lot of times the defensive defensemen have long careers. So some staying power there. So I guess we'll see. But nothing too, as far as Young Guns go, nothing special. And Martin Natchez, Darnell Nurse, and Jakob Silferberg. So three packs to go. Still await our Green Dazzler. And we wait another base pack, I do believe. Lawson Kraus, Ilya Sorokin, Joel Farabee, Garnage Grr Hathaway, and Donnie Faber. Here's our base pack. Great. Mackenzie Weger, Pavel Frankus, and Nick Schmaltz. So, woo. Well, on the bright side, these last two packs won't be a base pack, or will they? Would not put it past upper deck at this point. Jake Muzzin. Ooh, it's a Green Dadlers. Drew Doughty. Jack Eichel. Anthony DeClaire. Green Dadlers. Timo Meyer, Ryan Johansson. Henry Yokiharu. And Sean Dersey. Final pack. Expect nothing good. Anthony Beauvillier. Eric Carlson. Lucas Raymond. A rookie retrospective of Jeremy Swayman. There's also in hobby packs, there's like gold and silver parallels of this. It's just like standard rookie, respect, rookie retrospective. So Swayman had a great year last year, good playoffs, and this year is Allmark's done most of the most of the heavy lifting there. Boston's amazing, but I think Allmark's picked up most of the slack. Drake Batherson, Jason Robertson, KL Peterson, and Brock Nelson. So there we go. So I mean, overall, I guess it's what I expected. Retail is retail is pretty freaking rough. I didn't expect that many base packs though. It's been a while since I've opened the last year's blasters, last season's blasters, and I can't remember if there are that many base packs. And I maybe it did. Maybe I just blocked it out, blocked it on my memory. As far as the inserts go, the inserts we did get nothing crazy. You get your green dafflers, you do canvases, you do portraits. Even the even the inserts I got aren't even great players freaking rat marshawn like come on the interest we did get her eh, boring and then we at least overshot our quota young guns one two three four five so i mean we were guaranteed three we got five so two boxes we doubled up on so that could be worse i guess look on the bright side but uh pretty much scraping bottom on these guys i mean there's one two three four five there's probably five bucks worth of value there so yeah definitely not getting your value back of these blasters if that is your thing don't buy retail there we go three blasters done of uh this year's Series 1, and uh, yeah, I will say, if you have the money, buy hobby boxes. You at least get a whole bunch of inserts, some cool inserts. You get less base packs, which are just do your best to not inflict the pain of base packs on yourself by getting a hobby box. I understand if you're somewhere where they don't have like an LCS or whatever in Walmart or some other retailers, your only option, so be it. Yeah, other than you basically just got to get lucky and hit like one of the big four young guns or you're going to have a rough time, so that's what it is. But anyway, there you go. Happy to bring that to you guys so you can see it. Uh, if you like watching me suffer through that one, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm sure I'll suffer through a lot more as the year goes on uh, as my channel goes on we'll just continue to suffer because that's three quarters of the times what you do in this hobby so thanks for watching this one and uh we'll see you in the next one